here today to do a book review on City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. I just want to say before I start off this video that sorry for my appearance. Yikes! I mean, I don't really care. Quit judging me. You guys know that you hang around your sweats too. That's how I roll. Moving on from that because who cares? City of Bones is the first installment of the Mortal Instruments series and it is a five book series. I think, uh, but I think that there's a sixth book coming out. I'm just going to start off by saying like a quick overview of what the book was about, then what I thought of the book, and then I'm going to, so that will all be spoiler free, and then I'm going to move into a more like in-depth book chat about what I actually thought about some of the parts of the book that are spoilers. So I will let you know when to stop listening uh, if you... <laughs> When to stop listening if you don't want any spoilers. I don't want to kill your buzz in case you know you're planning on reading it soon. That's not my thing. City of Bones is a story about a young girl who's 15. Her name is Clary Frey or Clarissa if you want to get real technical. And Clarissa goes to this kind of all ages teen dance rager club with her friend Simon at the beginning of the book. and. Clary all of a sudden kind of sees something real weird kind of happening over in the corner and she sees these like hoodlums, I don't know how else to explain them, but these like badass people in black clothing and she sees them like stabbing this other boy and she's like, what? You can't just be stabbing people. That's not okay. So, you know, she freaks out and then they see that she can see them and they're like, you're not supposed to be able to see us you're just a human. So she figures out later, of course, that these are not regular people. These are what they call shadow hunters. And shadow hunters are human beings who kill demons. This book is kind of like a parallel universe almost where everything seems normal, but there's also like these glamours put up so that regular people can't see the demons and the vampires and the werewolves and all that fun stuff walking around, which is kind of cool. So the story kind of goes through Clary realizing that she can see all of these things, she can see through the glamour, and all of a sudden her mother gets like kidnapped and she needs help from the Shadow Hunters to find her mother. So, I mean, this isn't going to be a spoiler if you have seen the movie trailer, but she finds out that her mother is a Shadow Hunter and that she's finding out all these new things about herself, so it's kind of like her journey off to find her mother with the help of these shadow hunters and of course there is a love story in the midst of it and there is a love triangle actually boom that's triangle that ended up being a circle not so good at geometry apparently it's got a ton of action it's got a ton of adventure it's got you know love it's got like witty banter so it's just like the journey trying to find her mother that's pretty much as basic as I can put it. Now, did I enjoy this book? I rated this book a four out of five on Goodreads. The reason I gave it a four was because I did find that it kind of started off a little slow. I don't even, no, I can't even really say that. I was, I just wasn't like hooked right away. Um, but like as the story progressed, I started getting more invested, more invested. And then I don't even know when it was, but I just like hit a point where I was like, oh, this book is so Good. Ah, really did enjoy it. There were parts, I'm going to be honest, that I wasn't crazy about. I, I was kind of disappointed that it wasn't as good as I was expecting it to be because everyone's saying that this is just such a fantastic book, but I've also heard that the rest of the books in the series are even better than this one, so I'm really excited to get into that. So yes, I did enjoy this book, but it was not my favorite. Now, here comes the spoilers. So if you haven't read the book, if you don't want to be spoiled, then bye! Thanks for watching. It was really nice of you to stop in and see what I thought about this book. But for those of you who have read it and those of you who don't care about spoilers and want to know why I'm so urgently needing to like talk about something, then please stay and let's have a chat, shall we? All I need to say is, what the... And that goes out to the part where we all of a sudden discover that Clary and Jace are brother and sister. <sighs> Am I the only one who is completely like, ugh, like my skin was like crawling, like they made out a few times and they were like falling in love and they are brother and sister. This is not Star Wars. Let's not repeat the Luke and Leia thing, okay? Because that is just, yeah, it's so gross. They like made out and touched and like, 
So that was kind of my biggest like turn off of the book and that may even be the main reason that I only gave it four to five because it's always nice to have a good twist but that actually made me feel like disgusted. And I was expecting at the end for them to be like, psych, they're not actually related. Got you, April Fools. But guess what? That didn't happen. And I'm really, really hoping that happens in the next books because I was kind of enjoying the whole like Jason Clary thing. I don't know. Maybe that means she's going to end up with Simon. Like, <sighs> I don't like it. I don't like the whole Valentine thing at the end, it was just like... It all, it felt kind of rushed at the end. The only really spoiler thing that I really wanted to talk about was the whole brother-sister thing because puke everywhere. Blech. Ew, because I was like rooting for them. Anyways, yucky. Disgusto barfo. As for what I thought about the characters, I, you know, I found Clary to be okay as a main character. She wasn't my favorite. She's no Katniss Everdeen, like let's be real. She was fine. I have nothing like against Clary. Jace, I, I really, I don't know, I got kind of annoyed with Jace every now and then because he was just trying to be such a smart ass all the time that I was just like, dude, you're not cool. Just shut up and talk like a regular person. So every now and then I kind of just wanted to slap him just to be like, stop trying to be, you know, so shitty. Just stop it. Simon, I, I thought, so. I, I mean, I like Simon. I thought that he was okay. I just kind of thought that he was, you know, like, it was just kind of obvious, like, oh, I'm pining after my best friend. Like, of course you were. I really liked Isabel. I don't, I th I'm pretty sure Isabel is my favorite character of this book. I don't know. Isabel and Luke, and I really liked Luke. I don't know why I really liked Luke. I just thought that he was, like, a good male figure in this book. That's my opinion. As for Alec... I didn't really have any feelings towards or against him. I just thought that he was kind of a drama queen, so I was kind of over it. But yeah, so the characters, I mean, I I wasn't in love with any of the characters, but I didn't hate them, so I think that it's a good cast. I'm hoping the characters develop more as the series goes along, so I'm kind of looking forward to that. But as of right now, I think all the characters are okay. Those are my thoughts on City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. If you have read this book, then let me know down in the comments what you thought about it. Let me know also what you think about the rest of the books because I'm interested to see if you guys think that maybe it just gets better and you want me to just stick it out and make sure that I read the rest of them, which I will do anyways. But anyways, so that's what I thought. Four out of five. Not fantastic, but... I did really like it. So thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. I swear I don't dress like this all the time. There's ice cream on my shirt. And I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye. So we kick, push, kick. What? Ice cream. Classy. Yuck. Yuck. No, I don't like it. Incest. Yuck. I got nothing. Why did this happen? Don't make out with your brother, it's gross. Ooh, yuck.